I have over 100,000 hours on a social anxiety build in this game, and I gotta say, this f sucks. 0 out of 10. Writing bad Steam review. GGFF. Go next build. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm quitting society. Give me the name of the dev that put this shit f buff in the game, because why? Humans, right? Social creatures. We're la 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 talking to each other. We literally put skills and intelligence just to be able to communicate with each other, and this is what I get. Something that can freaking disable a key part of the game. For what? What's the good game design here? It doesn't give me more XP. It doesn't give me more gold. It doesn't even get shown on the character creation screen. So like, do I just get it randomly? What's the playstyle niche? Did I want a hardcore no talking challenge run? No! I'm going into this already. Horrendous, unbalanced piece of sh IRL game. Thinking I'm gonna be on normal difficulty. Just be figured out that half the time, my voice comms are gonna be bugged and I'm basically muted. For what? I think the worst part is that people with normal builds just don't get it. Normal people's stamina depletion during conversation is like this. Or like this, sometimes they even get a buff from it. But me, my stamina division is like this, and not just getting ready for it. Normal builds when I'm at the shop will be like, oh, you don't know where to find it? Just ask the store worker. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm gonna be out there fighting for my life. Walking up to them, stacking stress debuff. And like, it's like, why is it going up so high? Stop! The time it takes a normal person to do three social quests is the time it takes me to start on one. Here, let me walk you through my Monster Hunter ass pre-hunt preparation, right? I received the task and I rated it out of five stars, right? Let's use an easy one for now. Let's say calling someone. That's like a 1.5 difficulty. So what that entails is me pacing back and forth in my room, blasting Everlong for at least half an hour, just so that my body feels enough adrenaline for me to not notice that my hands are moving, and I'm clicking the call button, and then it sets in on me, and it's like, oh, wait, what, what do I say? Oh, who am I? Why, why am I here? Wait, oh, I don't know what to say. Wait, what? Oh, oh uh, hello. This is hard suck. Just calling to reserve a table for tonight, or for uh, uh, a two at 7 p.m. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, all right, thank you. <gasps> Let's go! But I would do anything, anything to not have another social interaction again. I memorize map routes so I don't have to ask for directions. If I have to buy something from a retail shop with those workers walking around who like go up to you to help you, I know that they're doing their job, but I avoid them like it's a freaking stealth mission and I'm avoiding their like line of sight. They're like a freaking mob camp. They have aggro range and if they see me, they're gonna latch onto me and I have to just kite away from them. Like and I'm throwing stones across the other side of the aisles so that they look over there and I can just sprint past there, grab my freaking stacks and leave. And God, I know AI is freaking debatable, but can't the Devs, please just add it so I don't have to like approach someone to ask me a really specific question that I can't find on the internet. God, please, please, I don't want to talk to anyone else again. It's like my socialization skills have a freaking ultimate ability length cooldown for all of them. And for why? Normal people, they can just cast that, they spam it. Some people, they can spam it like it's freaking earth. And the thing is like, more people are like, oh, just develop your Christmas that, you know, it'll get easier. And you know, that's what I thought too. But then look at me, no, look at me. I'm a yapper. I just like talking, I like ranting. And I'd like to believe I rant well enough for at least some people to listen, right? But this doesn't save me from the fact that people are scary. And if I'm in front of them, I'm just, it's insane debuff. I just can't do it. I can't move, I can't talk, I can't do anything. My freaking heart freaking palpitating, freaking sweating, freaking feet going cold. What is stop? What is this? I'm gonna get the freaking Minecraft achievement for like having all the debuffs, except it's just all the bad ones. You gotta find a way to like display which debuffs it gives you. Can the data miners like just go through my freaking source codes of my brain and figure it out because I don't know what's going on here. The thing that really confuses me about my build personally is that I thought I invested points into the introvert trait which recovers by spending time by themselves but sometimes when I'm in a party with other players I really like I don't just keep the same energy in fact sometimes it feels like I even get a buff from it. Is this part of like the friends quest line like when you complete it you get like a buff or something because some of the ones on my friends list have claimed that we've completed the like found family quest line but I'm not sure if that's like real or not and some of you might be asking like oh Hardstock how did you climb out of this like elo hell of just not being able to talk to people and I, I don't know either. The shot I'd use was to info dump to people about like the community workshop content I enjoyed or like the my character's lore backstory or how my character build like positively or negatively impacts my playthrough and somehow the players I do this to end up just doing it back to me and when that happens I just keep quiet and let them talk because I found that people love talking about themselves and they love having someone to listen to them and, and if you want to like level it up you remember the things that they tell you. The things that they tell you are like actually quests in disguise. They're mini like fetch me or like task quests like you have to um, listen to their favorite song from their favorite bard and then you talk to them about it then you get plus friendship points you go fetch their favorite snack when you're gonna meet them and then you go hey I brought you the thing that you said you liked you like this right and they're like oh my gosh I do yes it's too free. There's secret quests that the game doesn't tell you because it doesn't pop up on the board, but you have to remember them. Write them down in your little notebook or something because it's it's free. That being said, that strat still takes me a long time to even like set up. Like I have to spend so long around the person and even then it's not guaranteed that I'll feel confident enough to do it or even that I'll get enough time around the person to be able to open up to them. So if someone knows like a better setup, like someone more experienced maybe, 
Um, please, please come with it because I, I need it, man. Yeah, it doesn't change the fact that the uh, regular people are still scary. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I can't do crowds of people. Need seconder for something. Can we just change this? Please, devs, I, I'm begging you.